They're chicks! I'm the mother and I won't let you catch them! Just a little sprain. You'll be fine in no time. Now you get some rest. All right. Thanks, Mama. <gasps> I'm sorry. It's all my fault. What? If I hadn't moved out of the way, you wouldn't have crashed into the barrel. That's true. Can I do anything to make you feel better? Well, I am a little hungry. I think I saw Cook putting away some leftover shrimp last night. I'll be back before you know it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That was delicious. Do you need anything else, Dongwa? Oh, just a good night's sleep. Thanks, Sogwa. I think I could get used to being waited on. <laughs> Ah, just in time. Here are ten more new rules. I was inspired. Ouch! <laughs> ten new rules? It will take a long time to read them all, but as you wish, your magistrate. hurt so much anymore. I should go tell everyone the good news. What am I saying? All this attention is great. Oh. By order of His Imperial Excellency, I hereby decree that his word shall become law and that the law of the land is it forbids anyone to build a campfire in the woods. The trees are as dry as kindling at this time. Or can you fish in the magistrate's pond? Good morning, Dongwa. I brought you a ball to play with. So, how's the paw today? Oh, oh, oh. What's wrong? Oh, I feel so bad that I won't be able to clean the clubhouse with you like we promised Mama. Don't worry. I'll do it by myself. No, I couldn't ask you to do that. It's no problem at all. Really? I just want you to rest and get better. Well, all right, if you insist. <laughs> there you are. Well, how did it go? Were the villagers captivated by the new rules? It went well, but there were a lot of rules. Yes, and there are a lot more where they came from. I had another five rules written up while you were gone. Oh, my beautiful robe! I need to wear this robe today for my audience with the visiting dignitary. It must be cleaned immediately. 
I would be happy to clean the rope for you, your magistrate. of his paw. What happened to his paw? It's a long story, but it was my fault. Hey, maybe telling him about the ship will cheer him up. Come on! Hey, I'm getting good at this. Look just fine to me. Are you sure he hurt his paw? I can't believe he's been pretending to be hurt. And he's been making me do all this stuff for him. He needs to be taught a lesson. <laughs> huh? to see the ship this afternoon. I know. It's probably going to be the most exciting thing ever. Did you two say something about a ship? Oh, yeah. A grand ship is docking at the pier today. It's supposed to be really big, colorful, and magnificent. Wow! You wanted to see me, Sagwa? Mama! Mama! Can we go see the ship? Dongwa, your paw. It's better. Oh! Uh, ow! Ouch! Ow! Dongwa, are you pretending? No, my paw did hurt. Well, at first, but when I woke up, it didn't hurt so much anymore. It wasn't nice the way you took advantage of everyone's concern for you, especially Sogwa's. Yeah. Well, Dongwa, you will just have to gather the banana leaves by yourself. <gasps> Sogwa, you're excused from that chore. But it'll take forever. Can I do it after I see the ship? No, you will gather all the leaves before you do anything else. Ah, just in time. Oh, no! It must be repaired. It was a gift from the dignitary who's visiting today. do all this work just isn't fair. Maybe it wasn't fair of me to make Sagwa clean the whole clubhouse by herself either. I guess that was pretty rotten of me. It sure was. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, okay? <laughs> ah, you finished it. Did you fill the pot with boiling water? Yes. Good. Sit down. Now, put your feet up and have a cup of tea with me. Pardon me? I know you've been working very hard for me lately, and I want you to know that I appreciate it. Ah, that must be the dignitary now. <gasps> what would I do without you? I said I was sorry. I shouldn't have pretended I was still hurt, okay? 
Yeah. It wasn't nice, Dongwa. But I'll forgive you. This time. So, we're going to see the ship. Do you want to come? I can't. I still have to finish stacking the leaves. Okay then. Bye. Let's go, Fufu. Gotcha. We'll help you. That'd be great. Then I'll ask Mama and Bob if I can go. It's so amazing. Look, Sagwa, I really want to thank you. I wouldn't have been able to come see the ship without you. That's true. So, if there's ever anything I can do for you, just name it. Well, I didn't have time to finish cleaning the clubhouse. We can both do it tomorrow like we were supposed to. What? Well, I guess I deserve that. Yeah. You got that right. Okay, okay, you don't have to rub it in. Very good, Dongwa. I am glad to have chosen you to be part of the Gong Fu demonstration. Thank you, Master Wei. I just hope I'll be ready in time. You'll be fine, Dongwa. You just need to continue practicing. Where is he of all days to be late? Stop pacing. You'll wear a hole in the magistrate's desk. Dongwa knows how important this day is. He's been training for weeks. Don't worry, he'll be here. <laughs> I hope you cats are ready to write, because I have a lot of rules. Rule number one. There will be no fishing on Fridays. Hmm. <clears throat> As I was saying, there is to be no basket weaving on uh, Tuesdays. Can you stall? I'm going to see what was so special that Dongwa would miss such an important ritual. Good. Now, the next move combines the balance of mind and body. Hmm. Whoa! Dongwa! <laughs> Remember? Balance of mind and body. Dongwa! I forgot that I had to write my first solo rule today. Please, excuse me. No! Oh, there you are. Do you know what time it is? Um, uh... You've been training for this family ritual for weeks, and then you go and miss it? Sorry, I... I forgot. Since you forgot, I want five extra scrolls of writing practice by tomorrow morning. What? But... Really, I don't know what could be more important than this. It's not fair. It's all in the wrists, my dears. Now it's your turn. Remember, grace, poise, and finesse. Hmm. Bad dope. Oh, more dancing and less daydreaming. No, 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 Bado. Why are you so preoccupied? Oh, it's nothing. <sighs> I'll never get this finished. How's it going? Not good. Just because Mama and Baba are scribes doesn't mean I have to be one too. We're all going to be scribes. It's a family tradition. I know, but I love Gung Fu more, and I'm getting really good at it. Definitely better than I am at writing. Then tell Baba. He wouldn't understand. He only wants me to write. I don't see why I have to give up something I do love for something I don't. Good. It's better, but your writing is sloppy. I'd like to see five more scrolls from you. But I have to... You have to... what? Nothing. All right, then. Hmm. Maybe I'll practice my gum food first, and then finish these later. Bado, you're just in time. Everything's ready. What?
are we making today? A real treat. Dragon beard candy. Mmm. Mix this. By the way, those dumplings we made last time turned out very nicely. <laughs> Thank you. Your parents must be proud. Actually, I can't talk to them about it. They just think I'm spending too much time in the kitchen instead of learning things that teach me grace and poise. Well, as far as I'm concerned, you're very graceful in the kitchen. Oops! <laughs> You'll get the hang of it. I'll never get these scrolls finished by tomorrow. I'll just finish them for him this time. Besides, I'm so much faster than he is. <laughs> Dongwa? Huh? What time is it? Oh no, I didn't finish the scrolls. Don't worry, I finished them for you last night. But I'm not doing it again. You did? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you! <gasps> Oh, I'm telling you all this hard work is paying off. These scrolls are ten times better. That's exactly what I was just telling him. Bye! Just so you keep up the good work, I'd like you to do another <gasps> five scrolls. But you'll be a full-fledged scribe in no time. I don't want to be a full-fledged scribe. I want to be a gum fool master. What's wrong? I didn't want Mama and Baba to hear, but I kind of didn't have time to do my writing today, so I thought... Oh no you don't! You had all day! Well, I just wanted to have a quick gum fu lesson, but I got so wrapped up in it. Besides, you're so much faster than I am. And better. And smarter. Oh, alright. But only if you promise to tell Baba how important this Gung Fu demonstration is to you. Baba would never understand. What wouldn't I understand? Uh, um... You're making your sister do your work? I, I, uh, I... And you, helping your brother to deceive me. That's not like you. What do you two have to say for yourselves? Well? Until you can come up with an explanation for this, you are both confined to your quarters. But, Baba, tomorrow's the... And that is final. <laughs> hmm, what will I have to snack on? Bado, what are you doing in here at this hour? I asked Cook to show me how to make dragon beer candy. What you need is to go to sleep. Honestly, you spend more time in here than you do practicing your dancing. Now, to bed. Can I go play outside? No, you will stay inside and practice writing. What? Scrolls. 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 No, no, no. Graceful, Bado. More graceful. <laughs> Oh, here's our tea now. Thank you, Cook. Mm, mm, this is delicious. How did you make it? Oh, you would have to ask Bardo. She made it. Mm. Bardo, come here. Now, why can't your dancing be as lovely as these? Because 
Because I don't love dancing the way I love to create in the kitchen. My dear, you can always tell me how you feel. However, you still need to learn your dance steps. But, ooh, I must say that you have quite a tasty talent. Thank you, Mama. I have something to say. The reason I miss writing my first solo role is... I was practicing for the gun fu demonstration. You were? Why didn't you tell me? I was afraid you'd be mad. I'm not mad, Dongwa. But writing is a rare gift and a great family tradition. I know, but Baba, writing is really hard work for me. But when I do gum fu, it's like the most natural thing I've ever done. Maybe I have been too hard on you. Do you think there might be some way to make writing less of a chore? Well, one thing. If I didn't have so much to do, then I'd like it more, and be able to do it even better. That sounds like a good plan. I want you to enjoy writing, not think of it as work. Like gum fu! Baba, what about the demonstration? Well, you can still make it if you hurry. And now, can we have a volunteer from the audience? As you can see, Kung Fu is a defensive art. You do know that being a scribe is slightly less... dangerous. <laughs> Very good, Dongwa. I am glad to have chosen you to be part of the Gong Fu demonstration. Thank you, Master Wei. I just hope I'll be ready in time. You'll be fine, Dongwa. You just need to continue practicing. Where is he of all days to be late? Stop pacing. You'll wear a hole in the magistrate's desk. Dongwa knows how important this day is. He's been training for weeks. Don't worry, he'll be here. <laughs> I hope you cats are ready to write, because I have a lot of rules. Rule number one, there will be no fishing on Friday. <laughs>